All right, I just had a really fun golf school in Atlanta, Georgia. Paul, Eve, and I are going to head down to the South Georgia Classic Web.com Tour Qualifier. Mark Baker was doing a really cool charity uh, event, Links for Life Pro-Am in Bakersfield, California. And Chris Gilman is out there as well playing in a Golden State Tour event. Well, how do you like the course? I like the course a lot. What's your first impression of the course, Sam? Um, a lot of trees. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of narrow, but it's open enough. It's pretty, though. It's very pretty. How was your practice run? Good. It's hot here. What does that drill help you? Uh, it just gives me confidence. I think sometimes, uh, you know, just making four footer after four footer after four footer, you can get on the course, you get a four footer, and it's like, yeah, I make 95 out of 100 of these, so don't worry too much about it. Just get up, line it up, knock it in. We'll get a good night's rest tonight, eight hours of sleep, good dinner, good breakfast, good to go. those moments I miss my girlfriend the most. <laughs> What's great about those cutie shirts, you can just ride them and then I don't know the words so it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but you can actually rock it. I was scared for you. He's rocking it, he's killing it. He is killing it. I'm, Paul, I was scared for you. how do you like your new haircut? <laughs> Hi. Love it. New mohawk. Ready to go low tomorrow. Yeah. Just got a standard cut. Much needed. I feel a lot lighter and a lot more aerodynamic. Haircut. Right there. On my own. I don't know. Looks good. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I missed a few hairs. Good morning. Uh, it's 6.30. I'm gonna bring uh, Paul to his early tea time. Uh, the sun is not even up. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Hey, what happened tonight? You woke up like five o'clock and <laughs> I don't know, wandered around in the room. What's going on, man? A bug bite or something, but um, my right pinky is a little bit swollen. Or maybe a turtle or a gator bite. Yeah, maybe a gator bite bit me. Unbelievable. It's so early they put the lights out that people can putt. It's hot already. I'm sweating like a pig. I decided not to play this event. Um, it's a one-day event. They don't have a pre-qualifier and they charge 450 for that day. There were 140 guys playing for six spots and I prefer to, to play pre-qualifier and I see if my game is good enough to get into the Monday. If you get into the Monday, you spend another 250 and it's kind of a better approach for me at the moment. Uh, we're eating at Dennis, Sam and me, and I'm gonna caddy today, so uh, I'm gonna give everything that this guy is gonna succeed today, and uh, we just talked about some uh, strat cheating, strat shit, st st strategy, <laughs> some stra strategy, and, uh, so got I got it, yeah. strategy. Yeah, so I think there's no way uh, 65 is possible without seven birdies. So I have to, job number one is get seven birdies. I'm gonna get it in play, and then I'm gonna get it on the green in position, and um, and then let's just see what happens. See if I can make seven birdies. Mmm, almost as good as a hamburger. Paul's last hole, he's in this bunker right there. Looks solid. Maybe just short of the green. Awesome shot, Paul. He 
made uh, 16 pars and two bogeys and that's a really solid uh, round. If I could give him a tip or whatever, I, I would love to, to see him be a little more aggressive in chip shots, longer putts, all the putts, because he makes all those four-footers anyway. If you make them from behind the hole, it's, it, it doesn't really change much. He's going to make it as well. I think he will get way more birdies if he plays a little more aggressive, and that's what you see on tour. Those guys, they, they really try to make it. How you doing? Good. How was it today? Mm, it was fine. I, I made 16 pars and uh, bogeyed one on the front, bogeyed one on the back. But, I mean, I played really solid, just no birdies, you know. Ooh. Hey! It's warm out there. The caddy. Shade is important nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Aim for the shade. Um, needless to say, I didn't didn't play very well. I started off on a par five my first hole and actually hit a pretty decent drive and had uh, about 2:30 in. And uh, second swing of the day, I'm trying to hit four iron. You know, in between a couple of trees over a hazard and ended up making a six on my first hole. So it was obviously not the way I wanted to start. And then, like I said, I three-putted the last green. Had about a three-footer for birdie and three-putted it. You can see my true length square hat is uh, covered in sweat. So it's been really, really hot outside today. So we gave it our best. Uh, we didn't get through the Monday qualifier for the web.com tour event, so we headed towards St. Louis. But, I mean, it's crazy. We drove all, almost all night, and, you know, we knew there was a storm, and my mom was like, you guys need to be safe. But, of course, we're like, yeah, we just need to get as far as we can get tonight. And, I mean, this thing was serious. That was a serious storm, man. We were really lucky. homes to rubble. Residents struggled to pick up the pieces. Severe weather spawned more than a dozen tornadoes that left close to 30 dead across six states since Monday. This is not a lake. This is flooded area. That storm was bigger than McDonald's. So we made it safely to St. Louis, thank goodness. We've got about a week off. We decided to come up to St. Louis because we're doing US Open qualifying at Missouri Bluffs in St. Louis. And we're not gonna have time for a practice round. Uh, because we're going to be in Dallas for the Byron Nelson, which is cool. Uh, that's where we're headed next. Mark Baker's going to join us, so we'll have four out of the five Team Tour Quest members there. So that'll be a lot of fun, and hopefully it's a great week for everybody. He made 16 birdies and two bogeys. That sounds like a really solid round. Of course it sounds like a solid round.